sex shop and six workers have read it. What are some of the best examples or clients not knowing how anatomy sex works? Customers firmly placing their thumb above my pubic bone, not moving it, watching me have literally no reaction, and then believing that they brought me to orgasm by doing that. I had a guy who wanted to meet up for full service, but said he didn't want me to be disappointed by how small his D was. He said, don't worry though I'll bring a banana for us to use so you'll still be satisfied. Question mark? First one that comes to mind is having to explain to a gentleman that the reason his wife doesn't enjoy toys probably has something to do with the fact he was cleaning them with Clorox wipes beforehand. And numerous explanations that anal beads are not ripcords and your partner likely isn't a lawnmower. Sex shop worker here. I answered a call from a man who had purchased a sounding device. It goes in your urethra if you didn't know. He couldn't get it out. I asked him if he'd used lube and he told me no and that it was starting to hurt. He asked if he should yank it. I just had to tell him to contact his doctor. I hope he got it out. I managed porn stores to get myself through college. One of the girls I felt most sorry for was a chubby girl, no hate here, who said no one would go down on her and she wanted to know what a roll 6 was like. I pointed her to a lil pink butterfly toy that had battery operated suction. I gave her a handful of free lube samples to go with it and wished her luck. She came back to the store later that same night, pouring the bag I sent it home in. She was upset and wanted a refund because she said the butterfly was very uncomfortable. I quickly told her all sales final, and then asked questions. So, the girl had inserted the hard, plastic butterfly, suction side in. She had no idea that she had a clitoris above her veal opening that could bring her to orgasm. I sent her on her way with some education and more lube samples. I didn't see her again thou susso. Let's call that a win. One more. I had a daytime regular named Terry. This was 20 years ago. But I'll never forget this old guy's name. He would stop by for 10 minutes. Grab a VHS from the bargain bin and attempt to flirt with me while checking out. One day I notice Terry is in the male enhancement section and he's been there a minute. I wander back and ask if he has questions. He is holding a D pump and very seriously asks if I could handle something that big. I laughed out loud. That usually shut down any advances. But Terry kept at it. He told me there were obviously women who could handle it or we wouldn't sell them. Then Terry told me that his D no longer got hard. But if he were able to keep suction on it while he put the toy himself inside of E. That just might work. He never came back into the store after his purchase that day also made it worked. Or maybe some woman killed him for trying to shove a ducking D pump inside her. I worked at a sex shop for like 3 years and the thing that irked me the most were people who were willfully ignorant about lube. Even after I'd explain why it's good for you they'd be like nah that's for old ladies. For either anal or veal sex it's there to reduce friction and make it more comfortable safe. Many men and women have this misconception that if a woman cannot produce enough moisture on her own then there's something seriously wrong with her. It's actually very common for women of all ages to use lubricant from time to time. Either because they are nervous and experienced, having very rousex, or because their bodies simply don't produce that much. It would hurt me to think of all the women, especially inexperienced ones, getting their canals just ducking shredded because men or other women are shaming them for needing lube. Working there taught me that a surprising amount of people are very stupid selfish lovers. Be careful out there folks. Well it was common to ask guys buying stuff for their girlfriends if their girl was a clit, g-spot, or both kind of girl. Most of the time they didn't know. In the shop I work at I get a lot of women who are curious about kegel bengwa balls but wonder what happens if they get lost in their v. I always gently explain that well that's not possible, or at least highly unlikely. There's always questions about anatomy, but we just do our best to inform people. When I worked in a sex shop lots of guys would come in looking for a gift for their female SO. I would often ask them if they were looking for a toy with clitoral or G-spot stimulation. A number of guys who looked at me blankly and went what is clitoral? I just want something to put in her, or a version of that statement, never failed to surprise me. I once spent 20 minutes desperately trying to get a guy to buy enough lube after he told me that his girlfriend insisted that he get some. 
because his initial attempt was him spitting on his D and shoving it in her ass. I'm a salesperson, but I'm just being kind when I tell people to buy more than they think they need. He blew off my advice and bought a $1 foil packet of lube. Client was a middle-aged, married man. Kept hassling for no condom and I kept refusing. He asked why I wouldn't do it because surely I'm on a tablet to stop myself getting pregnant. I explained that condoms were important in protecting against STDs. He literally did not know what an STD was. I spent a while explaining to him and he started to worry that his wife would find out he was seeing sex workers because he hadn't been using condoms. He said so if I catch something, my wife could get it too. I worked at a local sex shop last summer. Women always asked help from me because the only other person working was a guy. They wanted some sex toy but didn't know exactly what. I would usually ask something along the lines of what makes you come easier, tutorial stimulation or something inserted in you? I was there only for 2 weeks and during those 2 weeks, at least 7 women said oh, I've never had an orgasm so I don't know. Most of them were women under 25 but the oldest was around 35-40 and married. That poor woman. I'm a camjural of 6 years. I've been asked if I worry about be stretched out. And had to explain that's not really a thing. I was asked to lactate. A guy genuinely thought all women could lactate on demand. Anal. Oh my god. Straight men don't understand anal. When I tell them I have to prep they genuinely are confused. You'd be surprised how many men believe women will come on demand. Or come within 3 minutes of stimulation. My biggest pet peeve is when guys get mad at me for using lube. 1. A wet V doesn't mean it is aroused. 2. A dry V doesn't mean it's not aroused. 3. Silicone toys are extra harsh on the skin and dry you out. The cervix when touched hurts. IT hurts. Pain. Painful. IT does not feel good to have your cervix slammed into. IT is not an accomplishment. If a girl pulls away because you are slamming into her cervix. Duckine stop. I had a dude ask me if a certain toy was for veal use or for the uterus because he thought it was two different holes. I dunno if this counts. But, I once had a gay man call and explain that after having an L6, his butt started feeling weird. And said he thought he could feel worms moving around and legitimately wanted to know what to do. More one guy who didn't understand that bestiality was illegal and, therefore, we didn't have any porn featuring donkeys. Otherwise many male customers who didn't understand the difference between sex worker and sex shop worker. I don't want a vibrator. Those loosen your V sometimes I got people who didn't want anal toys because they had that fear. Which isn't true btw the muscles just her condition to relax more. But this was a mother coming in and saying this. So when I was like 15 I was in a knife smoke sex shop and some dude was in Thessex part of the shop and he was buying a dildo and kept asking if it was long enough to reach his girlfriend's clit and how deep inside a woman is her clit and I was like honey how are you 30 something years old not knowing what a clit is. A friend of mine is a doctor, I'm not entirely sure what her previous role was, but she would basically help people with sex related difficulties. One day she was helping a couple who had been unsuccessfully trying for a baby. She got them to describe what steps they normally took and the man ended up explaining how he would come into her belly button. Adult store employee here. It's mostly men not realizing the difference between a standard butt plug and a prostate massager. Coming up with a prostate massager and asking if it's a good plug for their girl. Then me explaining how it's for biological men and then having to explain further how they themselves have a pee spot in their ass. Also, with dongs and some rabbit style vibrators, the material is a non-body safe, TPE TPR. It is porous and holds bacteria which can cause infections and is recommend use with a condom. Seriously please invest in high quality toys. I know money is tight sometimes but you shouldn't risk your health for an orgasm. It isn't worth it. Sex worker here, the amount of clients who ask me how many times I came from some thirsty jackhammer ducking for 2 minutes are laughable, baby, if I came you would definitely know it. A shocking amount of guys don't understand how the prostate contributes to an orgasm, and they don't understand why their girlfriends don't like anal, it's because they don't have a prostate, a lot of guys can come just from anal stimulation, edit. 
I have an anatomically correct dong bong. I posted a cheeky video of myself using it on my snapchat. A gentleman messaged me to register his disappointment that I had not used my V to smoke from it. I'm still not sure if he was joking or not. I was honestly too scared to ask. It was Fauna 6. But the guy duck him. I spent 3 hours describing to him how a girl would pee in the woods. Whether he knew or not is beside the point. 3 hours describing it while trying to be horny at the same time. Dudes are wild sometimes. Squatting. Not that difficult of a concept. Never worked there but when I was 16 I worked next door to one. I was outside most of the day loading mulch and around noon every day I would see 5 to 6 white collar workers walk in for 5-10 minutes and walk out with nothing. Time went by and when I turned 18 found out they were spanking it in the DVD testing room. I used to be a professional dominatrix. But this particular story has nothing to do with sex or sexual anatomy at all. My nose and lip are pierced and one of my clients thought that I could breathe through the piercings if I took the rings out. My piercings are not gauged. They're just regular 18 stroke 20 G piercings. Yeah. No my friend. I cannot in fact breathe through a hole the size of a mechanical pencil lead. On the sexual anatomy side. The number of grown ass men who didn't know that most women's boobs are slightly uneven sizes was way too damn high. I work in a lingerie sex shop and wow. I didn't realize how many people lack a basic understanding of things in general. First thing that springs to mind is a woman who kept breaking a couple's toy. Shaped like a osai so women can wear it internally during intercourse and it'll also sit on the clitoris. By using it like a crab claw to pinch her clitoris. She must have returned three of these by the time we figured out what the hell she was doing. I also once had a gentleman tell me we were osiscoming people by making them think the g-spot was a real thing. I assured him that as a woman it was very much real but he wouldn't budge and just stood there with his unhappy looking wife telling me doctors had proved it was a myth. Another weird thing is the amount of people that want to buy a bullet vibrator to stick in their arsehole. Do not do this. Instead of a butt plug. People who want to use dental spray or a dishwasher to wash physics toys instead of buying a cleaning spray and men that show up to buy a bra and then look shocked when they realize they need to know their other half's bra size. OP has crafted a very clever way to find out how anatomy sex works. Most men don't know how to thrust into a woman's V but they all know how to jackhammer it. I have a regular client who keeps asking me to finger my urethra. I've never even done sounding. That's not something people just do. No prep. Most are grown adults that know more or less how things work. What a lot of dudes don't know is proper hygiene. Wash your sheets and you don't smell like piss. Wash yourself and you don't smell like B.O. Change your clothes and you don't smell like stale. Sweaty clothes. On Linux worker here. It's crazy how many men assume all women can. Come by penetration. Do anal, squirt, gape, fit big toys in either hole, do double penetration, ride the in certain positions, deep throat, I dread to think how physics life goes when they expect these kind of things from every amateur porn maker. I have one in reverse, I went into a sex shop in a gay area of Sydney, I explained to the guy that I hadn't really used a dildo before, I'm a guy, and he suggested a rabbit dildo. I told him I don't have a clitoris that needs stimulating and he just went silent and didn't suggest any more dildos. I could understand him thinking it was for a girlfriend but I was in a gay area and explained to him it was for me. I hosted a final year film class documentary about different aspects of pleasure, BDSM play between couples from a sub's perspective, to boost surrounding sex and use of the industry from a sociological standpoint, internalized shame etc. And while we were in a sex shop I did a wonder with a woman who worked there and made a comment about how a 30cm slash 12 inches horse dildo was optimistic. Or for someone with a death wish. Very professionally. She explained training and dilation kits. And how conversations with customers really opened her eyes in terms of what people get off on. The documentary itself wasn't anything special. But I learned a lot and discovered that it was a D-move. Yike. To shame other people's kinks. Even inadvertently. I'm gonna grab some popcorn and wait here for a while. I work in HR and had a co-worker straight up ask me what does the female V look like. 
I'm just sad the public school system failed him so badly. My friend is a sex worker. She asked me if it was normal to have a ching and like green discharge down there. She actually didn't know STDs STDs existed but had like heard of AIDS. From a sex worker here, I it you not. If I had $10 for every man that didn't understand his own foreskin, I'd be a millionaire by now. It must be a cultural thing because it's only with certain uncircumcised men. This is from my sibling. She had to explain the basics to a couple who were waiting until marriage and had just gotten married. They weren't well educated the practice. Sister ran over all the basic options for them to try out. I hope it worked out well for them. Edit. Retail worker. BTW. Had a tiny ass Asian chick come in and buy the great American challenge. Because she said and I quote. My pussy stretches. I can take a 9 inch D. I can handle this. Now this thing is 15 inches long and 3 inches wide and a 9 inches girth. Three days later she comes back trying to return it. Saying that she hurt herself trying to use it. Needless to say the owner declined the return. And after this chick decided she was going to start getting an attitude and throw it at me. She ended up arrested for assault and trespass from the shop. Still doesn't hold a candle to when I DJ'd at a swingers BDSM club. And seen an old, 80 plus, year old woman leading a pack of like 10 guys all in their 20s 30s around on leashes. And getting a train ran on her right on the dance floor. A bit of a twist. I've worked for nearly 30 years in the adult industry. And a lot of that was behind the counter in pawn shops. Selling lubricants, condoms, videos and sex toys. When I tried to assist women with the purchase of a vibrator or dildo many of them would question my ability to give a good recommendation. How can you help me? You don't have a V. Was something I heard a lot. I explained that one. I understood anatomy too. I was an excellent communicator and 3. I often had intimate physical encounters with women and had gleaned a bit of information from those moments. I might not have a V. But I still knew a ton about how to make one feel good. Those that let their guard down and allowed me to assist were thankful. Some even returned to the store to express their gratitude. Few opened up to me because they didn't know a single male with even an iota of knowledge. Plus, I was an open-minded, uninhibited sex freak. And so the great our bad women's anatomy harvest begins. I find it funny when my entire dialogue with a client is just them saying rub your clit for 3 minutes before they keep going. Now. Come like okay sure. I'm so close baby I a. You would be ducking astonished the amount of men that are convinced that the enlargement cream exists. Then you have to spend half an hour explaining how biology actually works. And that they aren't going to find a magical cream to make them 10 inches like the internet tells them. Then they tell you a friend has sim and you want it. And you just look into the CCTV camera like on the office as you try not to smash your face against the counter in utter disbelief at people's idiocy. Not at a sex shop, but working as a pharmacist you see some it. Woman was eating veal thrush cream instead of applying it because, well nobody told her and also she was insane. Guys and girls using lignocaine, a powerful numbing agent, to last longer during sex, kinda okay at low dose on the D under a condom. Less okay poured liberally into the V. Woman who lied about having a colonoscopy because she was nervous about being clean for her first anal sex. Had ingested a full pick a prep kit. The older, angrier, cousin of laxatives. Imagine sticking a garden hose down your throat and waiting. Men requesting large tampons on behalf of their partners in some weird simile to large condoms. Not really bad anatomy but had a woman ask about whether a medicine would go into her breast milk. Not because she was breastfeeding an infant, but rather she and her partner engaged in erotic lactation. Not a sex shop worker, but a former Baptist in Germany. The one church where drinking, smoking, watching TV, using WhatsApp, Facebook and not going to church is considered a sin. My best friend's wife told me that were two occasions where she could not believe that parents in these churches don't let their kids partake in sexual education. The one time there was a married couple, they were married for like 6 mottens, and the community leader called them in to talk about why they haven't had a kid yet and the guy said we try it every day but it does not work, turns out he was ramming it up in her ass all the time. The second time there was, again, a married couple, 
for like 8 months, and the community leader called them in and asked the same question. Turns out they were both just laying naked next to each other and never touched the other person. Reading the other stories just shows me that people are so dumb and think they are over education. Group of younger girls come and super vanilla looking bunch but grabbing gifts for a bachelorette party. Also some gifts for the bride. Well, initially I thought they were getting the bride all gag gifts. Like the biggest rubber dildo we had. A rubber fist. For fisting. And not the one with the pointed fingers just a fist. The 5XL rabbit etc. So they come to get rug up and I bring up the joke aspect of the stuff and how she will get a kick out of all this. No one is laughing. Turns out the bride had a baby and these lovely ladies thought this is what you use once you have a kid. Mind you they all swore up and down her baby was huge, and the bride was a petite gal. Also they had zero word from the bride that she was rocking the XXL Vagu either. So yeah, talked them all out of it and into more regular sized things. With only one as a joke, just in case. Saw one of them a few months later and told me she loved all the gifts and laughed about the big one as in her words would have split me in two. They never even discussed how she had the baby naturally and needed zero stitches either, go ducking figure.